So the summer transfer window is now open and we've already seen several big deals go through in the championship. In today's video we're going to be talking about 10 of the transfers that I'm most excited about heading into next season. Now for the sake of today's video we're only going to be talking about new players coming into the league, so players that weren't playing in the championship last season. You know we all know what Joe Bellingham's about and he's moved over to Sunderland or Jada Silva and him moving over to Coventry. For the sake of today's video we're going to be talking about new arrivals coming into the championship championship from either the Premier League or overseas. I'd like to know from you guys who are you most excited about heading into next season. But without any further ado, let's jump in. In at number 10 we have Bristol City's Ross McCrory who's come over from Aberdeen. Now the Scottish international has had a little bit of a taste of the EFL previously. He had a short loan spell with Portsmouth back in 2019. But now a more established professional after some really solid years with Aberdeen. He's looking for that next step in his career with Bristol City and what makes a player like McCrory so exciting is the number of positions that he can play and how useful he could be to Nigel Pearson's side next season. Last season in the Scottish Premiership for Aberdeen he was averaging 1.1 tackles and 2.4 clearances per 90 whilst playing in a variety of positions comfortable at centre half right back or as a holding midfielder. Bristol City have a player who can take a lot of boxes next season in McCrory. In ninth place we have Sondre Tronstad standing for Blackburn Rovers from Vitesse. Now quite a few championship clubs seem to be targeting the Eredivisie market and Blackburn could have picked up a GM here with Tronstad coming over on a free transfer this summer. In the 21-22 season for the test, he looked like an absolute unit off the ball, winning 3 tackles per 90 and 1.6 interceptions. An all-action midfielder with a good reputation coming over from the Netherlands. I think this one's a really promising signing for Blackburn. He'll also have a point to prove in English football as well, as he previously had a short stint with Huddersfield Town, but struggled to make a breakthrough while in Yorkshire. But now a more well-rounded individual, and this could be his chance to shine in the championship. Coming in 8th place, we have Cal Calvin Ramsey who signed for Preston North End on loan for the season from Liverpool. Now there's a reason Liverpool spent upwards of £4 million on Ramsey just over a year ago. His spell at Anfield so far has been fairly frustrating with only a couple of first team appearances and Ramsey himself undergoing knee surgery. But while at Aberdeen the teenager showcased himself to be one of the hot prospects in that position and there's a reason Liverpool scouts picked him out to go ahead and spend that much money on him. He's now looking for that regular first team football and I think he'll get get that at Preston next season. We've been crying out for a right wing back to compete with Brad Potts on that side and if managed correctly I think could offer North End quite a lot next season. Next up we have Jensen Seelt who's completed the move over to Sunderland in a deal worth around £1.7 million from PSV. Now the defender never made a first team senior appearance for PSV but instead made the majority of his appearances for the reserve side for the club. He's 20 years old though and he's another example of Sunderland doing their shopping around the youth market and is a hotly tipped prospect for the future. I've watched a few clips of him in action on YouTube and things like that and the first thing that immediately becomes obvious is how tall and how much of a physical presence he actually is. We think back to you know that playoff semi-final second leg that Sunderland had against Luton and how much they lacked that physicality in their back line. I know they had injuries but someone like Sealed will add that four years going forward into the future. I'm a big fan of this deal. He's a defender who has an eye for a goal and no doubt will be wreaking havoc from set piece situations and things like that if he does make the adaptation to the championship. Julio Plegonzolo is a player who I'm really excited about for next season in the championship. He's joining Plymouth Argyle on a free transfer from FC Twente. Made 96 appearances for the Dutch club across the last four seasons. And I believe the 26 year old will become the first ever Spanish player player to have played for Plymouth Argyle as well which is a decent fact. Really highly rated throughout his youth career he spent time with Atletico Madrid, Barcelona and Arsenal throughout his youth development. He only made one senior appearance for the Gunners though before going to the Eredivisie to rebuild his career and now finds himself back in England. It's this sort of creative recruitment that I'm expecting more of from Plymouth throughout this transfer window. You know to compete with other championship sides who are working with bigger budgets they will need to get creative but I think this is exactly the sort of creative business that could keep them up in the championship next season. In fifth place we have Kevin Nisbet who signed for Millwall. Now Millwall had been long-term admirers of the Scottish forward and they've finally gone ahead 
and got their man this summer. Millwall have paid a significant seven figure fee to go ahead and land a Hibernian forward who I think could give them an extra dynamic in the final third. Last season in the championship Millwall scored 57 championship goals which would have ranked them ninth in terms of overall goal scoring. So to go ahead and bridge that gap between themselves and the top six next season another forward was probably on their list of requirements. Now Nisbet did miss a lot of last year through injury but he returned from that really well and ended the season with a prolific finish for Hibernian scoring 12 goals in just 16 starts for the Scottish club. Averaging a goal every 114 minutes in the Scottish league last season he could certainly add a new goal scoring dynamic to Gary Rowett's side next season. Next up we have Koji Miyoshi who signed for Birmingham. The Japanese international is a player who I'm really looking forward to seeing in action in the championship next season. Looked to be a highly technical player who works hard compressed from the front and can get Birmingham fans up and out of their seats. Now the jeopardy with this one comes from the fact that he has recently recovered from an ACL injury which kept him out of action for the majority of last season. He has had quite a few big injury layoffs over these last couple of seasons but hopefully those will be left behind him now going into the championship. If the winger can find that consistency then he is a player who I do think can be quite exciting for the championship. He's coming over from the Belgian Pro League and I think could add a little bit of stardust to that blue side next season. Up next we have Rhys Healy who's recently signed for Watford from Toulouse. The forward is back in English football. He previously had a spell with Cardiff where he couldn't quite establish himself during their spell both in the Premier League and Championship. He went away to Toulouse where he rediscovered his goal scoring touch and now back in the Championship as a more well-rounded player and Watford seemed to have quite the natural finisher on their hands in Healy. He scored 40 goals in 77 matches for Toulouse, the majority of those appearances coming while the club was in the French second division but his goals helped secure their promotion. He is another player who has recently recovered from an ACL injury so we'll wait and see if that has gone ahead and hampered his overall ability heading into next season for Watford. But the underlying numbers are all pretty promising to say the least when it comes to the 28 year old. Watford had a bit of a problem with the consistent number nine last season. You know, it was often Drow Pedro providing the stardust for them but someone like Healy could offer a more consistent goal threat if he does hit the ground running. Now as the majority of his goals did come in the French second division it's tough to say how that will translate to goals in the championship. For context going off the global footballing rankings for where each league in world football ranks. The championship ranks as the 11th best league in the world while the French second division ranks as the 22nd best division in the world so there is quite a jump between the standard of those two leagues. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited about this one. I think he could offer quite a bit next season for Watford provided he does stay fit. In second place we have Arnor Sigurdsson who I must admit I am really excited about. He's joining Blackburn Rovers initially on loan for the season from CSK Moscow but it looks as if that deal could be turned permanent upon his contract with the Russian club expiring. Due to the conflict in Russia over the past couple of seasons he spent um, out on loan in the Swedish league and his underlying numbers are all looking fairly promising. Watched a few of the clips of some of the goals he's been scoring over these last couple of years and I think could be an especially useful player to a side like Blackburn. Looks really effective when running on to things in and around the box. His positioning looks to be fantastic. He's someone who can be utilised in that number 10 role off either flank or even as a number 9 himself. And also looks to have a turn of pace about him. If we think about how quickly Blackburn can get up the pitch with some of those other outlets that they've got in that side, I think he'll be a real fit into that team under John Dahl Thomason next season and gives them an extra dynamic that perhaps they lacked last season as well. Blackburn, another one of those sides who are looking to do some creative recruitment to just bridge that gap between themselves and the top six for next season. Given Sigurdsson's pedigree, he's an Icelandic international who's played in several European competitions previously. I think this one ticks a lot of boxes. But claiming the top spot for me, it is Luis Semedo coming over from Benfica as the signing that I'm most excited about as things stand as a player coming into the championship next season. Sunderland have got a lot of their business done early and Semedo is a player who fits right into their recruitment strategy. He's 19 years old, was highly sought after when it was revealed that he was looking for that move away from Benfica as well. But Sunderland fended off interest from around Europe, it would seem, to go ahead and land him on a 
five-year deal. Now, Semedo will have that step up to make for Benfica. He was majority playing, you know, youth football for the B-side reserve games and things like that. But his record for those sides was absolutely fantastic. So going through the youth ranks, he was prolific at each age group. And still just 19 years old, he's got a long way to go in the game as well. He's another player who looks to come in with a fairly physical profile as well, being six foot four. That's clearly been an area where Sunderland have looked to address this summer. But he's represented Portugal at under 19 and under 20 level. Black Cats were crying out for a new number nine last season. And long term, someone like Semedo could be just the player Sunderland were after. But guys, there we have it. That will wrap it up for today's video. There are 10 new arrivals who have come into the championship so far who I'm most excited to see going into next season. Any other shouts? Make sure to let me know about them in the comments down below. But apart from that, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.